And this is the second installment on setting up G Suite in one login. And in this video, we're going to cover provisioning. So the first thing we're going to do is enable provisioning. So let's head to the provisioning tab. And we're going to turn on provisioning. Now we're going to leave these three boxes checked here. This is staging. Uh, pretty common stuff. I just want you to see what happens when we receive a provisioning task in one login and those specific things. So because these users already exist and we're talking about as Morales and Jack Kerouac are two test users, we're not going to create them again, right? So it says send me a provisioning task on create. We're not going to create them again, but you will see a task for update. And when we delete them, you will see a task to delete them as well as creating them anew after we delete them. So I'm going to leave them checked for now. And this, this uh, drop down here, when users are deleted in one login, perform this action in G Suite. We also want to delete the user in G Suite when we delete the user in one login. So we want to send that off as well. Let's quickly save. head back to the provisioning tab. Now, before we refresh entitlements down here, we, we actually need to enable the ability to provision entitlements in G Suite. So what we need to do is head on over to the configuration tab real quick and check this box to enable the ability to provision to those entitlements. Now this is specific to this connector. Some connectors uh, don't require that. G Suite, however, does require an extra flag. So let's head over to the provisioning tab now. And now we can refresh entitlements and pull in those entitlements so we can provision. Now technically we didn't need to check that box just to pull in entitlements, but uh, we'd be pulling in entitlements that we couldn't provision to. So what would be the point? So this is the natural progression. So we'll refresh. That's an API call out to grab those entitlements in G Suite those specific parameter values. What parameters? These parameters, right? So what values exist in G Suite that we can provision users to from one login? So things like groups. This is sort of the main one, right? Google Groups. There are some other things that are really important if you have or use the employee ID field. Um, you can uh, input a value. You can include in user provisioning and you can either um, set it to a macro and then provide a field value for every single user or you can click on this drop down and then map it to a field uh, to some custom field that you've added um, and, and that'll work just fine as well. I'm just going to test uh, with, with Google Groups today to keep this sort of short and sweet. There's also other entitlements like is admin, uh, manager, uh, organization, things like that.